Welcome back, guys. Crest Dragon here. We're going to be getting into some shenanigans again in Astrocraft. However, today is going to be a little bit different. We're not going to be going into battle. We're not going to be trying to blow people up. We are actually going to be discussing something that I discovered, well, a while ago, let's be honest. And it was something that I didn't really put too much thought into, and that is Solo Wonder. Now, Solo Wonder, basically, there's very minimal restrictions, you can create whatever you want, and because of that, you can actually build something like this. Now, this was my first attempt at a Solo Wonder build. I think it's pretty well designed. I really like the legs. I really like the head, which, you know, you could add on to it further and make it taller so the head would actually turn into the midsection, or you could actually elongate the body if you want. Now, again, this was just my first attempt. And I, I think it turned out pretty well. However, the other thing that I've noticed is this. Now, for anyone who's not familiar with, I don't really know what I want to call this, the bee, the builder, builder bee, I don't know, the hornet, whatever. This thing consists of 115 parts. And I just want to dissect it a little bit so you guys understand what I built. Alright guys, so I'm actually going to show you just a little bit of the behind the scenes of how to build this. Just to make it a little bit easier. So basically, what you want to do is use transparent cubes. And you want to make this a 4x4 start. And then... Add the top and the bottom, as you can see. Now, you can go ahead and remove these. And the first item that you can add the Midnight Party. And you basically want to have it tucked right in there. And <clears throat> your Class 3 Boosters I'm going to start these right from the bottom. And then in order for you to get that angle, you do that. Now, you definitely want to put these on first because these hold everything together. And then you can put the legs on. Which are not really the legs, or they're hover legs. But do that.
Now, as you guys can see, 115 pieces. That is all you need. Now... You want to make sure that you save it. Doesn't really matter which mode you save it under. But that is how you build that. Alright guys, so as I mentioned, we are in Solo Wonder. So this is the training arena where you can kind of test out your builds. Now, just so you guys understand how everything works. So, you're going to have the ability to use the left one and then the right one. Basically one after the other. And again, you can put them uphill, downhill, whatever you want, it doesn't matter. And let's say you screw something up. So, very easy to start over. And you'll notice that this machine doesn't move very quickly. And that is why I put three boosters on it. Because we go from this, which is painfully slow, to this. So, as you can see, the booster is very, very good. So if you're traveling from this map, I highly recommend you use those. So those are just the basics of how to use this build. Now I'm going to actually go in and I'm going to start building a few things around here and g give you guys some examples of how to spruce this level up a little bit and if you guys actually play with, well, one other f friend, obviously, or, you know, a bunch of friends, you can actually use this vehicle, you can actually all use this vehicle, and transform this map into something super, super crazy, and I don't want to spoil too much just yet, but... Let's just go over here. I want to show you guys something real quick. So, you are not limited in where you can build. However, the one thing that you guys need to remember, and this is my example here that extends off the map so just remember that anything that you build that is attached to the map if someone decides to come along and shoot whatever is touching the solid portion of the map the rest of your creation will instantly blow up so keep that in mind when you guys are choosing which mode to go and play in because solo wonder which i'm in right now no one else can come in here and bother me all right so this is the first thing that i created now this is just one demonstration of how you guys can build something and basically manipulate the playground quite a bit
So what I've done um, is built a platform. Now, you can always go in and add a little bit more detail if you really wanted to. And, you know, add in legs. Kind of make it look a little bit more realistic because obviously uh, a platform is not going to hold itself up without anything underneath it. So you can do that and as you can see I've made ramps and these ramps allow you guys to come up and gain access to this. Now the thing is if you guys have really nice builds that you want to show off this is actually a really nice way of getting some really cool screenshots and videos you can basically do anything you want you guys can actually sit at the corner here let's say you have two friends who are racing you can actually record them racing through the loop down over there you could actually record them racing. So, I mean, this is a really great build for manipulating the environment and adding on whatever you want. And like I said, it's really easy if you make a mistake or you don't like what you made and you just want to get rid of it really quickly. The Midnight Party weapon is one of the better items to actually do that with. As you guys can see, it's a really cool stage. Now this is just one example of what you can do. I'm actually going to go and build two, maybe three more things. And I'm going to include those. And basically, I'm not going to show you guys how I build them because it's just a, a really lengthy process. But if you guys do want to see that, if I have enough people request it, I will do it. I'll make a longer video and show you guys the process. So once they're actually built, once they're completed, I will basically give you guys a tour of those uh, features that I've added. And you guys can let me know what you think. Alright guys, so this is what I call a lap around the building. Now, as you can see, I made a ramp. This will take us up to this ring, as I call it, a little ring that goes around the building. And the one thing that you guys can do if if you're building this in a mode where people aren't blowing anything up and you want it to be unique, you can make it any size you want, you know, to restrict larger builds following you. But the one thing that you want to remember is that if you don't make it wide enough for yourself, It'll be really, really difficult to navigate. And I'm hoping that I don't end up with any issues, but as you can see, the game does glitch out a little bit. That's why I'm leaning. But as you can see, now we come back out to the platform I created earlier. And that is one lap around the building. That's all you need to do. Basically, you just build it all the way around. And, as you can see, I don't need anything to really support it other than the ramp. And then everything else is 
You can uh, you can actually attach it to the building if you want, just so that if somebody does shoot one of the bricks, it doesn't blow up everything. And then, as you can see, it goes the length of the building, goes all the way around. So this is another one of the creations that I've actually played um, on in a multiplayer creation, and people have actually followed me on it, and because there's nobody chatting in the games that I've played in, I have no idea what people think of it, but obviously you can go all the way up to the top. There are no limitations in this game. So I'm going to go on to the next build that I have. Alright guys, so this is just a little bit of an add-on. So when you have a ring, not to say that you actually have to put the ring around the building, you just add on some ramps. And you will find yourself easily on the top of the building, next to the satellite. And you can actually go all the way over to this far side here. And again, with, with this... Um, with this build, you can get a lot of really good vantage points. You can see the city, you can see the racetrack, you can see what I believe are ships. You can see everyone on the lower level as well. You can see some of the other cities, and again, you can see the ring around the building there. But you can see so much more when you actually get on top of the building. And just down there in the bottom left, you can see the platform that I built below us. And that is pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to show you guys how to utilize the building block option in the game so that you can actually have way more fun you can build pretty much anything so there are literally no limitations with this and I'm actually holding back just a little bit for you guys because this video is probably going to be long enough as it is, but I have two more things to show you that I've already done. Uh, technically three, but I'm going to save them for another video, but just take this uh, build out for a spin. Like, feel, feel free to just copy exactly what I did and start playing around with this in the game and hopefully when I go into multiplayer creation some of you guys have perfected some of these ideas come up with your own and basically just make this game which is already super fun even more exciting with your own contributions. So, if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you guys want to leave some comments, like I said, if you guys request anything, I will do my best to make another video. If you guys want to see me do some more creations, if you want me to show you guys um, anything to do with the builder bot that I've created, let me know. And be sure to subscribe so that I know you guys are engaged and want more content. So until the next video, I will leave you guys with the cityscape. Alright, I will catch you guys in the next one.